So guys, we are in week three of our Generosity 2022 build up. And um, if you're joining us here for the first time, just a quick note, Generosity is a fund that we ask people within this family to give towards, contribute towards financially above and beyond their tithes. So saying, I'll give up some or other a meal or a nice eat out and rather I want to sow into the city to be a blessing for the city. And that's exactly what this fund is used for, to bless the city of Bloemfontein in this environment. So over the, this past few weeks, we've been looking at what the Generosity Fund has been doing within the year of 2021. Can you hear it? The hustle and bustle of a busy city teeming with life. People coming from everywhere. Entrepreneurs and school teachers, government officials and sports stars, artists and media houses, all joining in to drive the powerful pulsating culture that moves a nation. This is the landscape of a city. And this is where we start our journey armed with faith to reach the lost, a love that can heal the pain, and a living hope ready to restore the brokenness of cities around the globe. Doxadeo is a family on mission, ready to see the earth filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. So as I've said, we are in week three and today we are looking at a ministry called City Changes Projects. Now this is an umbrella ministry and that means there's a lot of other different ministries connected to that. Last week we had someone in, in the studio here with us called Marnell and she's joining us together uh, again today. So welcome Marnell, it's nice having you with us. Thank you. And uh, we talked a little bit about a pop-up as well as El Piso, which is really an big privilege for us to be reaching out to these environments and then also one of the ministries that we might not have mentioned is called Untold Stories where we get church leaders together and we share what God is doing within those environments and we pray for one another within the city. Now today we're going to be looking at two other ministries that also is connected to the City Changes Project and uh, maybe you could dive in and tell us a little bit more about these two ministries. So um, the first part is um, two projects that specifically focus on helping people to get food. So the first one is Rock, um, Reach Out City Changer, and the other one is Hope, which stands for Help Our People Eat. Um, and as I said, the help of food, especially, um, or hope, especially in the church. So for partners um, that's been through a difficult time, they might have lost their job or something like that. And then we try to support them. Um, and the other one, Rock, um, focuses on the city or like with Durban now some disaster relief we actually had the privilege to go to Durban um, bless the community with some food and some supplies and this was all possible um, because of something like rock um, and also it is a 18 a certificate 18a um, project so if you are a business then you can donate and you can get um, some tax refunds um, yeah so it's amazing um, out of this project we were able to send about 55 tons of food sure. to Durban um, to place wow. a lot of churches and individuals there and then the second leg or project that I would like to speak yeah. about is Serving Saturdays so this is a new initiative that I'm very excited about it's a very practical ministry where um, the aim is to see how we can serve and love our city by doing practical things like painting a park um, or even sure. maybe reaching out to just different communities and organizations we are looking into that for the future to expand it to a few other organizations and churches and our heart really just is um, to look at some practical needs and to build partnership and relationship through that. Sure, this is really amazing, um, especially the Serving Saturdays, I must say. Um, I was personally part of one of these Serving Saturdays. I had my kids and the whole family there, and we were painting one of these parks. And it's just amazing to see what impact it had on the community. Um, maybe you can share with us some of the dreams that you guys have for our Serving Saturdays. There's obviously a lot of potential within the city. So maybe what's on your heart for 2022 when it comes to our Serving Saturdays ministry? 
Yeah, so we are looking to actually build a team um, with some of the partners. We want some people that um, can help with fundraising, identifying needs, telling us practically how to maybe build a fence if we need to do that <laughs> somewhere. So yeah, the aim is really to get our hands dirty and to do practical things yeah. in the city. So that's mm. what we are looking for. And then also um, some long-term partnerships. So we are looking to partner with other churches and organizations so that it's not just something that happens now and as a short-term effect but really something that will improve our city in the long term and show your yeah, God's love to the people of Bloemfontein. Sure that's amazing trusting God for something of a caretaking culture to formulate within the city that's really special. So we are back in our brand new studio how exciting is this not and uh, with me today, I also have Bertus from our Street Store Initiative. Welcome Bertus, it's nice having you with me. Thank you Lorraine, it's great to be here. Great, so maybe tell us a little bit more about Street Store, what happened this year and what, what's it all about? So Lorraine, we had the opportunity to have our six streets, uh, six Street Store this year. We had three sites, Hamilton Park, Vista Campus, which later became Anchor of Hope. We'll get to that one later. And our new one at Swelang School in Heidedal, as well as we had two, uh, the opportunity to serve 2,200 shoppers this year. So it was great to just give people some love, um, to restore some dignity to people and integrity, to bring people back in alignment with their identity, who Jesus always wanted them to be. We had 240 volunteers who came to just serve the people of the city. We just said, you know what, I'm going to come and give my time, talents and treasures, and I just want to come and give back. So we were very thankful for that. And we realized this year that dark clouds do not always have to mean doom and gloom. They are actually sometimes just showing us to the provision of God, the rain that comes. And um, yeah, we really saw the harvest of God coming this year. So. Wow, imagine that 240 people coming out of the safety of their homes to say we boldly going to love the city of Bloemfontein in a time of crisis. That's truly remarkable. I know always at these events there are amazing stories. Maybe share one of the stories that touched your heart most this year. Yeah, you know, to share just a personal story with you of something that I've ex I experienced is at Hamilton Park. Uh, one of the ushers came to me since I was in charge of the ashes there and said, please come and pray for me for this guy. So just to give you a little bit of background, this guy came in there with crutches. His whole left side was um, lame because he had a stroke previously. So we prayed the Holy Spirit led us what to say. And as we were praying, um, we were just praying in alignment with God, putting this guy back in truth, um, just loving on him. And when we were finished, I said to the usher, like, just take the crutch away. So she took the crutch. And as you can see on the video that um, this guy was walking without the crutch. Um, he didn't need it anymore. God really provided for him miraculously. Sure. Wow, what a powerful story. Yeah, it reminds me so much that when we meet Jesus, um, we get far more than what we bargained for. Just like this guy came for clothes and ultimately left healed. What an amazing picture. Um, maybe just lastly, um, for the guys watching with me and trusting and praying with me for this initiative for Street Store into the future, what's the plans? What are we trusting God for for 2022 and beyond? Well, we're trusting for more. Um, Amen. <laughs> and that means that we are trusting for God to link us with more churches, to link us with more businesses in the city and more influential people. We are trusting God for people that will be generous with their time, talents and treasures. Um, we are trusting that we want to be so bold to say we are trusting the Lord for sites in places like Bochabelu and Tabanchu. Um, we are even trusting the Lord for possibly for two um, street stores a year, a summer and a winter street store. Sure. Wow, what an amazing opportunity and stuff. And there's obviously a lot of opportunities in the future. and. Can I just say, as we're thinking about Street Store, I've never seen an initiative bringing people together in this city to be a blessing to the city as this one. Um, so really amazing. Wonderful spending time with you guys today and looking forward to next week, week four of our Generosity 2022 journey.